Hi there, my name's Paul. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today behind me, I've got the Porsche Taycan 4S Cross Turismo. Absolutely fantastic car. Just want to take you on a short walk around, show you some of the features and the benefits that this amazing car has got to offer to you. So let's have a look around. Okay, so as I've said, this is the Porsche Taycan 4S Cross Turismo. Uh, absolutely fantastic car, loads and loads of features on there, so I'm going to try and go through as many as them, of, of them as I can for you. To start off with, this is a new pre-registered vehicle, so delivery miles only. You've also got the full manufacturer's warranty from when it was first registered. So with that, you've got a three-year warranty. Service intervals on this vehicle are two years or every 20,000 miles. And the high voltage electrical components, such as the battery, you've got an eight year or 100,000 mile warranty on those parts. So just to give you a couple of basic specs for this vehicle, top speed is 149 miles an hour, 0 to 60 in 4.1 seconds. It does feature the Porsche Performance Plus battery, which is a 93.4 kilowatt hour battery. And with that, you've got a maximum of up to 300 and four miles of range. Now, if you're charging up at a Porsche station, where you've got the incredibly fast chargers there, which charge up to uh, 270 kilowatts, you can charge up pretty much in 20 minutes to go from 20% to full charge. If you're at a BP filling station and you're on one of their standard 75 watt chargers, that same charge can take you about an hour if you've got one of the high-end 150 watt BP chargers, you're looking at going from 20% charge up to 100% up to in about 30 minutes. Let's just come down the off side of this vehicle. As you can see, absolutely lovely finishing, lovely design, nice and sleek. There's lovely 19-inch alloy wheels of the Porsche Crest in there as well. Just we're getting back to the front now. Just going to point out that you've got power fold mirrors. So as you unlock the vehicle, they're going to open out on their own. You've also got the automatically uh, opening door handles there as well. Privacy glass on the back of the vehicle. All of the glass on this vehicle as well is thermally thermal insulated glass. So it's going to help to regulate the temperature inside that vehicle for you. Just on the back lighting, you've got that lovely Porsche logo in that rear lighting zone as well. You've got that lovely panoramic roof on the top of this vehicle. You've got the 4S Turismo side skirts there, the Valance LED daytime running lights. You've got those lovely LED uh, headlights as well loads and loads on the outside let's have a look inside okay so just round at the back of the vehicle now you've got the keyless uh, entry into the boot space of the vehicle it's just looking in you've got a nice amount of storage in there you've also got 12 volt uh, power point in the back of this vehicle just underneath the floor base there you've got the charging cables underneath there You've got the lovely Carrera white uh, finishing on the bodywork of this vehicle as well. And we've given you some protection for that by applying a triple layer guard X treatment, uh, which helps to give you some protection against any negative effects of UV, uh, acidity and rainwater, anything like that. We've also provided you, as you can see in the boot there, with a guard X cleaning kit complimentary as well. And closing that boot, very, very easy. Just gonna push the button on there. That's going to close that boot down for us. So let's have a look inside the vehicle. Okay, so before we step into the driver's seat of the vehicle, I'm just going to point out that since we've just looked at the charging cables, you have got a charging point on both sides of the vehicle there. Let's just come around to the near side. And there's the other one on that side. When you do need to disconnect the charging cable, all you're gonna do is pop that button there, that's gonna disconnect the charging cable for you. Just moving back around to the driver's side now. 
before we step in, as you can see just down there on the floor, you've also got the under door uh, floor lighting as well. Got lovely finishing, leather finishing there on the door trims. You've got electronically controlled mirrors, which are power folders you've seen, uh, electronically controlled windows and central locking. And you've also got the memory functions there for the seat settings. Just looking at the seats, you've got those lovely Porsche sports style seats there, all full leather, lovely, lovely finishing and hand stitched as well. These are electronically controlled, as you can see just there. Just moving into the driver's seat now. Okay, so inside the cockpit in the driver's seat now, just a couple of uh, little basic bits here. Uh, the vehicle's got two-speed automatic transmission, uh, multi-function sports steering wheel, as you can see there. So fully connective, you've got options on there for the media, voice controls, uh, lots and lots of options on there. On the lower right, you've got different driving modes you can set through as well. Cruise control just over there on the lower left. Uh, you've also got automatic headlights included uh, wipers are just over there on the uh, top right hand side as well uh, some of the safety features you've got the lane keeping assistance you've got the collision warning and assisted braking uh, as well um, you've also got wireless phone charging which is a nice little feature so just underneath the uh, arm rest and storage box there you've got that little holder for a mobile phone uh, if you take your phone case off put your phone in there screen facing outwards uh, and that's going to wirelessly charge your mobile device for you uh, you've also got a fantastic sound package in here which features 10 surround sound speakers as well and as you've seen you've also got ambient lighting throughout the front of the vehicle so door channels there the cup holders in the center uh, the central part just there underneath the central display with the uh, climate controls on there as well so if we start the vehicle up i'm just going to put my foot on the brake there and the power button just there to the right hand side behind the steering wheel so first of all i'm just going to have a quick look at the climate controls here for you you've got heated seats as you can see uh, you've also got air conditioning included with this vehicle you can bump the climate controls up to the top system as well. Uh, you've got pre-cooling and pre-heating options for this vehicle as well. Air conditioning is on, as you can see there. You've got an eco mode for the aircon as well. I'm just going to switch that off since we're here in the showroom. Just moving into the main menu now. <clears throat> so lots and lots of options in here. You can control uh, your mobile phone from this device. So you've got Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, as you can see just there. So connecting your phone via the USB, and that's going to mirror your phone up to this device for you as well. You've got charging information there for when you are at a charging station. You've also got your sat-nav, which the sat-nav itself can also be displayed just in the center there of the dash behind the steering wheel. Let's just come back out of there to the main menu. Let's just pop into the vehicle options there. So lots and lots of options in here. Now you do have adaptive air suspension on this vehicle. So with your different driving modes, such as uh, the Sport, uh, you've got also got the medium height, uh, recuperation mode, uh, you've got gravel mode, you've got a range mode for uh, the best optimal range of the vehicle, Sport and Sport Plus. Now I'm just going to give you the example here with the gravel mode. If we push that there, that's going to adjust the suspension. It's going to raise the car slightly and give us a little bit more clearance from the ground underneath. If we pop into Sports Plus, that's going to lower the vehicle back down and have us a lot more aerodynamic. And then we've got everything in between. You've also got your parking assistance there, braking assist and your lane keeping assistance. You've got all of your trip computer, including your battery information, your total current range, outside temperature. Temperature is a very important one with uh, large uh, lithium ion batteries. So if the 
temperature is very cold and the battery is cold, you're going to have less range and less efficiency from that battery. Uh, aside from that as well, when you are charging, as the battery does warm up, you're going to find that the battery will charge quicker as it warms up as well. So let's just move across. And then in the comfort options, you've got your driver's seat, pa passenger seat. So lots of uh, comfort options in there. And if we pop into ambient lighting, so you've got options there for the total brightness of different areas of the vehicle. As well as that, you've also got the option to change the color of the lighting as well. So let's just come back all the way out there. And we're just going to move that back to the top, go into the color options. And let's just move over to the doors there. It's very, very fast reactive there. Lots and lots of colour options there for that ambient lighting for us. Let's just come back out now and into the home page. And just moving down there. And you've got your breakdown assistance. You've also got a calendar there, news page. So once you've got uh, the vehicle connected to a mobile signal, you've got lots and lots of extra usability there for you as well. Just moving over to the steering wheel. As I said, you've got the option to change the driving modes just there. So just on the right hand side, you can go through those options using the menu just there. Everything's digital as well and crystal clear uh, displays. So you've got the digital speedo there. You've also got, as you can see, uh, the speed sign recognition. So the speed information and the road safety information will come up on the screen as well. Got all of your lighting information just on the left of that lovely large screen. You've also got your uh, gear options on the lever just there. So I'm just going to pop the vehicle into reverse now. And as you can see on that central system, you've got all of the central information uh, there. You've got your sensor information on the right. And you've also got the camera up there on the left. If I just pop the vehicle back into park now. And just while I'm on the home screen now, I'm just going to use this central parking uh, parking camera button there. We can also bring up the cameras and the parking sensor information there manually. So just coming backwards and we've got the battery information that we can have come up on there. You've also got a pre-cool and a pre-heat mode for the battery so if you are going to uh, take the vehicle and charge it up you can pre-heat the battery just to make optimum uh, use of your charging time. And you've also got a button there to open the, the bonnet and the boot of the vehicle as well. This lovely large section here you've also got that can you be used to control the display above. It's basically a large touchpad, so the way you would use a touchpad on a laptop computer. Just going to put a bit of pressure on there with your finger. And as you can see, move around those displays as per what's easiest for yourself. So one last quick look around. We've got that lovely hand-stitched leather dash. You've got a lovely uh, Porsche uh, timepiece in the center there with the compass built in. Just looking up, you've got your lighting controls there. You've got those lovely Porsche emblems on the headrests in the front of the vehicle. And then just looking up at that lovely panoramic sunroof from the inside out. Just looking down at the floors, you've got the lovely Porsche floor mats as well. I'm sure you'd agree everything in this vehicle is finished to a fantastically high standard. It's lovely and crystal clean and in fantastic condition. Okay. So that is the Porsche Taycan 4S Cross Turismo. I'm sure you'd agree, absolutely fantastic vehicle. Packed with features, packed with benefits there. 
absolutely fantastic performance. Uh, anything at all that we can do to assist with the purchase, or if you wish to discuss one of our fantastic finance deals, please feel free to let us know, and it'll be a pleasure to look after you however we can. Aside from that, if you can hit that five-star review button for me, that would be greatly appreciated on my part. Once again, thank you very much for your time today. Have a lovely day ahead, and we look forward to speaking to you real soon. Bye now.